The quilt math sheets are designed to be incredibly easy to use. You just know what size your finished block is going to be. So I know mine is going to be four inches. And of color one, I have 16 half square triangles, 16 rounds up to 20. So I need a fat quarter or a third of a yard if I'm cutting yardage in order to cut my 20 four inch finished half square triangles for my quilt. For the next color, I need eight and I'll round that up to 10 and I'll just need a fat quarter. If it doesn't indicate a different yardage, then a quarter yard of yardage will be fine. So I can use a fat quarter or a quarter yard of my color two. And since I have eight of color three, that would be the same as well. And it's that simple for me to know exactly how much yardage I need on my quilt. If I say, oh, I wanna make my quilt bigger, it's just as easy to do it again. If I wanna do six inch blocks, then I know I need a half yard of color one, a quarter yard of color two, and a quarter yard of color three. These are the instructions that will take you through how simple it is to use the quilt math. There's a full sheet going in half inch increments for finished blocks and going from five all the way to 200 in five unit increments for how many units in for squares and half square triangles. Half square triangles are on the tens and sixes because half square triangles come in pairs. So we went ahead and rounded that up for you already to the sixes. And there's also a sheet that allows you to do the math by hand if you prefer. And that's how easy it is to use quilt math.